All right, guys, you know, in Football Manager, one of the most common questions that people have is, where do I stick the stuff that I downloaded? And that's what we're going to look at here today. We're not going to look into the game at all. We're just going to look at what folder you put in the extra stuff that you downloaded for the game. It's going to be pretty simple, but it might be helpful to know this because I know that it's confusing. All right. So first thing that we're going to look at, of course, is what it is that we've downloaded. So we'll go over here to our screen. I went over to Sorted Out SI. I got the Players Faces Mega Pack, the newest one. You do have to pay a little bit of money. It's like, I think, 10 uh, pounds a year to uh, get access to this. I'd re really strongly recommend doing it. That's not much at all. Um, and you get the 450,000 plus player faces, which helps your game out a lot. I also went and got a skin. I went and got this WTCS gold skin from FM Scout. I actually had to go off the uh, site to get it, but it doesn't really matter. Pretty easy to get. And uh, to show you an editor data file, I went and picked up this improved Indian system. So uh, we're going to look at how to install that as well. Again, we're just looking at the directories today. We won't look at Football Manager itself. We may look at that in a different video to see how to set everything up from that side. You can see we have the wonderful world of Linux here in front of us now. I want to show you something. This here is going to be different for most of you, right? Most people who are watching this are going to be on Windows, and I'll show you how this works. So this looks really, really weird. It's a different directory structure. It's because I'm using Proton to play uh, Football Manager on Linux, right? It's weird even from a Linux perspective. This is the folder in my documents that contains all of the uh, directories that you need to stick your stuff in, right? So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go back here to uh, take to show you where these directories are. We'll go back here to the C drive. This is what you would normally see on your computer. You'd go into your user folder and then go to My Documents. Since it's Linux, we have to go to Users, Steam User, because it's Proton, then My Documents, and here Sports Interactive. You want to make sure that you're going for the Sports Interactive folder located in My Documents. There's going to be another one if you're on Windows, um, and that's going to be in the Steam folder. That'll be Football Manager 2024, the same name. That Steam folder, though, is not going to give you this directory structure. If you are on a Mac, it's going to be similar. You need to look under Application Support, which is a hidden directory, so you have to get that open. And underneath that, you will see a sports interactive folder that has directories that are sort of like this. Usually, it'll come up with editor data, games, and a couple other things. Now, this sorted out SI folder has the faces. So we want to play around with the faces first. We're going to create a folder, and it's going to be called graphics. All right, so we create a graphics folder here as part of this My Documents folder. And that's where the faces go. That's where all of the stuff that's about, like, uh, the uh, what the backgrounds with the team images and stuff like that they will go into graphics basically just about anything as a graphic will go into that graphics folder skins are a little bit easier so the WTCS gold folder goes into the skins directory that's already created for you you'll see there is a config.xml file we're not going to worry too much about that because that will come up as we go and then, as you can see here, I didn't put this in my other downloads directory. We have an editor data file as well. Move that over. We're going to take this file. It's an FMF file. We stick it down there into the editor data folder. And there you have it. And so that directory structure is uh, the way that the game works. Any sort of editor data file, even if Indian is spelled wrong, any editor data file is going to go into the editor data folder. You know it's an editor data file if it's changing around the league or if it's doing something that has to be loaded at the beginning of the game, adding in new players, stuff like that. Those all go in, into the editor data file directory, right? There's other stuff here you can mess around with. Matches is going to be stuff that's saved from, I think it's the in-game internal replay tool or something. It doesn't work quite right. Games is where your save game is going to be saved, right? and so on and so forth. There are other directories that you can build in. As you download different files, if you read the readme file, it will tell you which directory to put things in. But remember, you want to use the Football Manager 2024 directory that is located in your Documents folder, or if you're on a Mac that's under Application Support. That's what you want to be looking for, because that is the folder that allows you to put things in. That's the folder that the game reads from. I've said this before, I'll say it again. You have to remember, 
that in Football Manager, the way that Sports Interactive has uh, created this, you have basically two different types of folders. You have the folder that is for the game file itself, which is uh, you're going to have data, database, all sorts of stuff. Usually you don't need to worry about messing around with that too much. And then you have the folder with all your documents. That's going to be your My Documents folder. Both of those do come in handy, but it's important to know the distinction between them because that way you'll know where to stick in the files that you've downloaded. thought this would be helpful. I know that not everybody explains this, and uh, for those of us who play the game for years, it can feel a little bit, I don't know, a little bit uh, uh, frustrating from time to time to uh, explain the, sa the uh, same thing over and over again. Some of us have known this for a couple of years now, but it's important to realize and important to understand once you understand what's going on and where to put stuff, the game will become a lot more interesting and a lot more fun because you can do a lot more when you start messing around with these directories. So there you have it. Talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.